Hello everybody, good morning and happy Workout Wednesday. We are here to start the morning off with motivation and fitness. So it is a body weight workout. We are going to be doing intervals of three 30 second strength movements followed by a minute of a cardio movement, but I will always offer modifications. Um, and then just a little heads up, in addition to Workout Wednesday at 11.30, we have our Wellness Wednesday video. And today I will be showing you how to prep spaghetti squash. So if you've been uh, piling on the carbs or maybe not eating as healthy the past few weeks, um, there is never a time to turn that around. And so today we're going to just show you how you can swap out pasta for still a fun a spaghetti inspired dinner or lunch, but with a vegetable, so it'll be a little bit healthier. Um, but before that, uh, we are gonna work out, and so let's get started with a warm up. Start by marching it out for me. Take a nice deep breath, inhale, and big exhale, and again, deep breath, big inhale, and exhale one more time. Take a nice deep breath, and big exhale. Back side to side, so finding a little squat, bending your legs. You have four, and three, two. Here you go, reach that arm up, so it start to warm and wake up your shoulders and your back. Here for four, three, two, bring it across your body, just a little rotation. Take nice deep breaths, ease into it as much as you need to, squat down and up in the center, down and up. Don't feel like you need to touch the floor. And definitely don't if you are not doing it by just bending those legs. Chest stays lifted, smile stays on. Two more. Hold it down, give me little pulses, down and up. You should be able to wiggle your toes right here. That's how you know the weight is in the back of those legs. Deep breaths, start to fire up those inner thighs, glutes and quads for eight. You have four, three, take it into side lunges, reach right and left. You're gonna bend one leg, stretch out your other. For four, three, two, and march it out for me. If you wanna pick it up a little bit, take it into more of a jog, knees up, abs in. And then try to kick those heels up. That's so gonna be a stretch for the quads, a little endurance. I'm gonna top those legs and those hamstrings. Here for five, four, three, two, and one. Face the side, roll down. Walk out to a plank position for me. Palms right under your shoulders, abs in tight. Take this nice deep breath. Activate your core. You have four, three. Take the hips up, downward facing dog. And plank. And again, press the hips up. Heels down. Back to plank. Exhale up and back. Bring it forward. Pull this one up in your downward dog and pedal at your heels, right and left. And just wake up those legs and hamstrings for four, three, two, and one. Walk it on up. Roll up. Okay, so what we are going to do first is our three strength movements. Each one we're going to do for 30 seconds. After we do those, we're going to be pushing hard with a cardio for a minute. We have five blocks. After we get through that whole 
duration of those five blocks, we'll repeat it all three times. So, if it's your first time, I encourage you to just get through this once. If you're advanced, push yourself, especially during that cardio. We're on timed intervals today, so go at your own pace, but if you can go faster, um, do that. If you need a modification, I'll be shouting that out as well. First 30 seconds of strength, right foot forward, left foot back. You're just gonna lower and lift in three, two, one. Here we go, first 30 seconds down and up. So remember, you can go as fast or as slow as you want to. We're 10 seconds in. Take water breaks if you need to. If you even have a chair or need a wall for balance support here, that'd be a great option. Eight seconds, you're switching legs. 30 seconds, other side. In four, three, two, and one. Just switch right into that lunge. Pressing off your front heel and your back toe. That'll help you activate glutes and quads. So we're gonna strengthen a lot of big muscles, a lot of big important supporting muscles in our body. 10 seconds, we're gonna step out to a squat position. We have a squat to a calf raise in five, four, three, two, and one. Feet wide, squat to a calf raise, down, and rise to your toes. So option one, take out the calf raise and just squat. If you wanna amp it up, 30 seconds of a squat jump, make it more explosive. But I'm gonna keep it right here in the middle. Squat to calf raises. Here we go, our first cardio push is coming in eight seconds. We're just gonna go into butt kickers for 60. Three, two, and here we go. Take it into butt kickers, 60 seconds. Obviously, you can just take it into a little step tap if that's what you're feeling. Or remember, we have three rounds, so you can switch it up throughout them. Maybe this is your hardest round, and then you slowly go easier. Or maybe this is easy, and you slowly progress up. I want you to think about the back of the legs, getting that heel up. Hamstring endurance. 30 more seconds. Okay, every 20 seconds, take big breaths in, sending nice new oxygen into those muscles. That's how we can get a ton of benefits for our body. Three for five, four, three, two, and rest. Take a nice deep breath. We're gonna head into our next 30 seconds of strength. You have tricep dip, so join me on the floor. This is a floor round, so if you need a towel or anything under your palms so it feels okay, take that. 30 seconds, we're gonna do tricep dips, so you're gonna lift your hips, it's gonna be a bend and press. Three, two, and you're done, 30 seconds. This is not coming from dropping your butt. Bridges is next, and that's when we'll be doing that. This is for arms. Good, big bend, drive through the palms of the hands. You have five, four, three, two, one. Lie down, we have bridge lifts. Here we go, 30 seconds. Up and down with those hips now. This is for the back of the legs, one of the best back and glute exercises you can do. If you have a chair or something around, I encourage you to amp it up by putting your heels up on a chair and doing a bridge lift from there. That'll really increase that intensity and that burn. Five seconds, you're just gonna give me a crunch. In four, three, two, one. Hands behind the head, crunch it up and down. Option one, feet down. Option two, use that tabletop. Option three, legs up. Most intense, go to a little angle here. So wherever you need to work at, you're gonna work at the middle ground. 
You guys have 10 seconds. Your next 60 second cardio push is mountain climbers. In five, four, three, two, and one. Flip it into a plank. Here we go, mountain climbers for 60 seconds. In five, four, three, two, and here we go. Round it in. So you're gonna go as fast as you can here. If you want to slow it down for more control, that's a modification. Another way to modify, take it into a bird dog. If you want to increase the intensity, one hand behind your back. And then you'll switch when I tell you to the other hand. Woo. Here we go, 30 more seconds.
behind and get as low as you can. Come up as little as you can. You have 10 more seconds. We're going to keep this isometric hold in our legs, bending our knees, side crunches in four, three, two, hands on your head, tip side to side. Just hold the bend of the knees, get low in that squat, and hit those obliques. Bring your halfway there. We're going into lunges after this. Get lower, get lower. Burning thighs and burning sides. Three for five, four, three, two, one. Come on up. Alternating a lunge. Back in together. Press off your front heel and your back toe again. We did those lunges individually. Now you're just alternating it. This is block four. This means we have one more after this. And then we're going to roll threes. You know the movements. It's going to be back to back to back. Ten seconds. We have that minute cardio push. Jumping jacks. In five, four, three, two, here we go, 60 seconds. Move as big as you can. Here's your modification. Tap out jacks. If you want to amp it up, give me star jacks, okay? I'm right here in middle ground with you. But 60 seconds. You can do a lot in that time. So really work and push it. And ultimately when you get tired, use your mind to remind yourself why you are working out. Why did you decide that Wednesday morning you are going to do this? That'll get you through the last 30, those times that you want to quit, okay? That's the important times. 10 seconds left. You got this.
Keep that chest up. This is coming from the legs bending. If getting down is too much, just shuffle, okay? Getting up and down. It's gonna add a little more intensity to it.
one leg bridges, or don't let your hips touch the floor in between. Hover them. So you have to constantly keep those hamstrings in activation mode. Five seconds, give me crunches. Three, two, here we go, up and down. Remember, legs can stay on the floor. If you want a little more, tabletop. If you want even more, shoot them out to an angle. Back should be on the floor the whole time. We will be up for mountain climbers. In three, two, one. Flip it over. Here we go. Run those knees in. I'm going to try a one arm option. Maybe amp it up. Who's going to try a low impact option, dropping your knees? Knees are driving into that chest, that heart rate spiked up. Go, 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 go. You guys just have 20 seconds. We're dropping knees if you need to modify. We're going straight into push ups. Eight seconds away. Hitting that chest in five, four, three, two, and one. Push ups. Make sure it's never coming from our neck bobbing, it's coming from our elbows bending.
Keep it up. 10 more seconds. Last five. Four, three, two. Hands behind the head. Tip side to side. If your legs are on fire, shake them off. It's okay. And then come back. We get stronger when we do things properly, not when you push through negative pain. So, if you're just uncomfortable and it's burning because that's a strength, great. If you're in pain, get out of this. Breathe until you can do it right, okay? Positive pain only here. Four, three, two, alternating lunges. Big step back, big drop of that knee. seconds. We are blocking your core, but that means we have one more block and then one more time through all of this. Woo! Not an easy morning. Taking jumping jacks in four, three, two, here we go, 60 seconds. If you want to add a little inner thighs extra, take those legs and crisscross them. Breath, so reach those arms all the way up, all the way down. Okay, for 20 seconds, we're headed to the floor. We have our side plank and little core work, and block five will be done. 10 seconds, me down the floor. Thank you. 
today because you know our classes are 45 to 50 minute all out, all you got. So we're going to start to ease back into that. We've been doing 30 minutes the past few weeks. So we're going to go for a longer duration today to start to build up that endurance. It's going to help so when you come back in the door, you are confident to work out for that time. We only want positive feelings and strength coming in here, okay? So, if you're like me, you've only been working out for 30 minute intervals, you're already tired and fatigued, so it's okay. We're all this together. I'm tired with you, grab some water. We have another about 10 to 15 minutes of this, so we can do it, okay? So here we go, we're gonna take a deep breath. Remember your ultimate goal, it's to build endurance and strength. If that's why you're in it with me, then let's get into this last round. Right before it, left foot back, here we go. So I have already told myself, and I hope you're gonna tell yourself the same thing. When classes start again, I know my fitness, I've been doing it, but it's not where I left off doing it. So if you're like me, you're gonna pick up a lighter weight your first few times. You're gonna take breaks and be okay with it. So don't you start to think about that these next few weeks of, just accept where you are. You've been doing amazing over quarantine. Switch, 30 seconds. And you're not gonna give up. That's the ultimate thing. You're gonna show up. That's what fitness is about. Showing up, working through it when it gets uncomfortable, but just accepting, most importantly, where you're at, okay? So if today you are feeling that burn and you need extra breaks, take them. If you know your first class, you're gonna be intimidated, don't be shy. We are all with you, okay? Five seconds. Three, two, and feet wide. Here we go. Squat to calf raise. Big squat, big lift. So for example, when I left on my last class, I was probably grabbing 10 pound weights. My first pass back, I'm probably going to go with a 5 or 7 pound choice just to ease my muscles back into anything without too much exertion and strain so that I ultimately can keep coming back and not injure myself right off the bat. Injury prevention is a super important part of fitness. You have four, three, two, here we go. If you know your quads and hamstrings are tired, if your heart has pushed hard enough already, that's okay, take this. If you're ready, go back into those butt kickers. Breathe. You can do this. Don't give up. Just accept where you're at. I've only got about 10 more seconds of this in me. I'm going to go back to those heel kicks. But if you can keep this up, do it. Okay? Guys, you have 25 seconds left. 25 seconds left. Give everything you can. This is me right now. I'm hopping and puffing. But I'm not quitting. 15 more seconds. Eight seconds. We'll be on the ground. I'm going to give myself five more to push. Maybe you're with me. Maybe not. Three, two, one. Woo. Tricep dips. Here we go. 30 seconds. Lift those hips. And then press your elbows. Big breaths, coming from a big elbow bend, big drive to the palms of the hands. Get five more seconds. Four, three, two, one. Lie on your back. Here we go into glute bridges, up and down. Go faster, go slower. Maybe take a whole 30 second break. Five seconds, we will be in our crunches in four, three, two, and you're doing the crunches up and down. So it comes from your abs right here, up in the center. Y'all 
what you're noticing your body's doing. 10 seconds. Big breaths. We're in our jumping jacks. In four, three, two. I know you love the sound of this. Second to last cardio. Woo! Yeah, 
Wednesday. Health and wellness is encompassing a lot of things. So, in addition to fitness, which should make up some kind of daily movement of at least 30 minutes, that could be walking, yoga, -ing, doing high intensity like this, switch. It should also incorporate things such as noticing how you're sleeping or eating, which is why we're coming to you around lunchtime to show you healthy lunch options. So today it's spaghetti squash, one of my favorite ways to eat pasta. Um, I'll be showing you how to prep it, what temperature to have it at, how long to cook it. Um, and then I'll also share with you even some of my favorite sauces that I use um, that have no added sugars. They're made with all organic and vegetable whole food ingredients. So, if you're interested in knowing that, let me know and come on with us at 11.30. Take a deep breath and exhale. And again, remember, health and wellness is also injury prevention. So when we see you in these doors, it's okay if you are not where you left off. I know I'm not gonna be picking up the weights I did or going for as long as I did or I might need extra water breaks or I might only be able to get through 30 minutes of a 50 minute class just like you. So um, accept that now and know it's okay and we'll just build ourselves back up to where we were and um, that is why we should enjoy having this little break. Our muscles got time to recover so we'll be uh, working out strong. But thanks for joining me on Workout Wednesday. Continue to practice health and wellness throughout your Wednesday and I hope to see you at 11.30.